Hey Leos, I'm Eileen Turtle. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be your bonus monthly tarot reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm doing a bonus because a lot of people said the quality of the video last time was really bad, which I honestly can't gauge until it's already posted. So, and once it's posted, I also can't do anything about it unfortunately. So I just decided, you know what, you guys are going to get a bonus reading and there's going to be a part two as well for this bonus. Um, and both will be posted on, excuse me, the part two bonus will be posted on Patreon and Vimeo is what I meant to say. Okay. Um, keep in mind, I might have stopped and something weird happened. I know Mercury Retrograde hasn't officially happened yet, we're in the pre-shadow, but I'm having all kinds of weird tech stuff. So the Leo video got a little messed up and then I just did Capricorn and I did it a while ago and now YouTube won't let me download it so I can actually post it for you guys. Cause the way that I do this is like, I record on the live feature on YouTube, like unlisted or private or whatever. And then I can give access to my patrons and then I can download them and then post them to YouTube so that you guys can watch <laughs> and it will let me download them and I don't know what to do about that and now I'm I'm doing the bonus for you guys and it's like it just did something weird and I'm just like come on <laughs> please work and Mercury for me is retrograding through my 11th house which is you know public eye and technology and social media and all that jazz um my goodness please work anyway Leo's um, let's go ahead and get into it. Keep in mind, these are timeless and general, so please take the messages as they resonate. I do think we're going to get a different message for you guys than the ones, than the one that came through yesterday or the day before. Um, oh man, my voice is already tired. Because what I was getting, purple and gold. They were showing me purple and gold. It's a really great combination, actually. Um, but the gold was really sticking out. You might be working with that color a lot. It is one of your colors. <clears throat> Also reminds me of the solar plexus, but some of you guys are working with or with the gold ray or that is significant to you. Um, some of you have the Midas touch. Literally, that's what they were saying. Some of you have the Midas touch. Uh, some of you have golden ideas. It's like gold, 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 gold for the Leo. Leos are golden. Leos are, Leos are golden right now. Um, I also want to say be aware that because you are in this really beaming energy and maybe in a very abundant energy or just like a lucky energy that people I feel like are, might be wanting to lock you down, uh, try to get you to be investing in their ideas or their businesses or investing with them in relationships or friendships, like getting a hold of the Leo. So be mindful of that if you don't really want to be sharing your golden energy right now. Mostly you're in golden child. Let's not get into that. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to touch that for some reason. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to go there. Uh, so Leo's. That's just what I was getting for you right out of the gate. But let's go ahead and pull some cards. I'm actually going to start with the Gaia Oracle. Okay. And by the way, if this isn't resonating for you, it's fine. You don't gotta get mad about it. It ain't. It's just ain't for you. And that's all right. Okay, all the decks I use are linked below for your convenience. I really hope I can download this later. Hold on, I just dropped some cards. Come here. I'm not going to take them because I just got started. Okay. I hope I can download these. <laughs> I'm hoping like by doing this too, somehow it'll just like, I don't know, force the Capricorn videos to be available somehow. Anyway. That client was right there. That was weird. Any messages or insights from my uh, Leos? For my Leos, I almost said for my cats. I mean, you guys are cats, but you know, Leos. <sighs> They're reminding me to say, "You are the sun." That is why you're golden. You are the sun. Keep in mind that, especially for my cross watchers, if you're pertaining to somebody else or someone in your field or someone that you know, okay? Any messages or insights from my Leos? Someone raising Venus and Jupiter. They're showing me crows. I feel like there's talking going on. I feel like negotiating. Oh, sorry, my nose gets so itchy when I channel. 
Yeah, I feel like there's talks. There's like, it feels like negotiation though is the word I want to say. And it doesn't have to be so serious or business-like. It could even be that maybe you're just having a sit down with somebody or again, someone's trying to sit you down and trying to lock you into something. Um, but it, it feels like that. It feels like negotiating. Um, some people want to co-create with you. Oh my God. Ah, Some people want to, um, oh Jesus, manifest with you. Ah. <clears throat> So if you have very strong telepathy with somebody, you know who you are. You know who you are and you know who they are. That feels good. That feels really good. That feels like magic. Yeah, if there's somebody you have very strong telepathy with and there's negotiations that come up, I would really give a listening ear to that. Um, or if you're on like the other end where you're coming in to negotiate, um, I think they're going to be very receptive to you. The ones you don't have telepathy with is where I would be wary, okay? Now the show give me the purple. The purple. Gold and purple. What's with the purple? The purple feels good, actually. The purple feels really good. The purple feels really mellow. It reminds me of the crown chakra. There's like a royal regality to that color. I mean, in Leos, you guys are Leos. I know. Kings and queens of, of the zodiac. The royals of the zodiac. You could have connection with the royal with the, the royals. You know who you are if that pertains to you. But the purple, purple is definitely somebody's favorite color too. That's coming through very strong. The purple and gold, I think, are just your colors right now. But there is something about it that's soothing. There's something about it that's soothing, but also authoritative. Higher authority. Higher authority. When you're embodying the frequency, the energies of these colors, gold, and the purple is like a dark purple. It's not like a lavender or like a lilac it's like a dark royal purple like it really really sticks out um when you're embodying the frequency of those colors and that is a thing um it's almost like you move into a higher authority but it feels soft it doesn't feel aggressive it feels like that feminine authority it feels really nice though it feels good it's almost like a mix between like queen high, high priestess which you could say actually is kind of like the empress, but I want to say it's not the empress. Like for some reason I want to go, it's not empress energy. Like very adamantly, it is not empress energy and I don't know why it wants to come through that way. That's weird. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are really wanting to be single or solo or not responsible for others. That could be it because empress is responsible for other people. Empress is usually like a partner to somebody like a wife or even like a mother figure or somebody who manages others. And I feel like some guys are not wanting that. <laughs> not wanting that. <laughs> Any messages or insights for my lions? Ooh, Leo's reflection, illusion, self-examination and distortion. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. That green ain't your color right now. <laughs> That's what wants to come through. Gold and purple, green, uh-uh. That is not, that is, you are not a green. You're not a green. You're not a green. Something about that feels really gross. Why is reflection coming out here from my lions? The self-examination is sticking out. That did pertain actually to the first reading, more so in part two than in part one. Um, needing to take a look at yourself, needing to get a really good, clean look in the mirror. Um, but I also feel like as you're doing that, if you are seeing yourself clearly, it's easier to see other people clearly. When you can't even see yourself clearly, it's almost impossible to see others clearly. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, a, there, yeah, this feels like it's in reference to a mirror, Leo, like a mirroring situation or person. Anything that you are functioning from in a distorted way about yourself that's also going to spill out or project onto other people. You might have been projecting on other people recently. People might be projecting onto you. But when you move into this like gold, purple, like sort of energy or that starts to come in, come up in your auric field, I think that's going to stop. But you might need to do a little bit of like re-examination of yourself or some shadow work in order for it to make that jump, make that transition. Okay. But people could totally be projecting onto you. Oh, even as I said that. Yeah, Leo, this is about taking a look in the mirror. Yeah, the, I felt it. I felt the like, the, the ego on that. I felt the ego on that. Like, you're just projecting onto me. 
It feels a little gaslighty, actually. So yeah, Leo, watch the shadow. Watch the shadow there. Lilith is in Leo right now in Tropic, and it could be act, you know activating any of your Leo placements. Um, yeah, be very cautious about getting a little too high and mighty, especially this particular week as I'm recording. Take a look in the mirror. Take a look in the mirror. Take a look in the mirror. Remember, gold purple, gold purple. That is like regal. It's graceful. It's authoritative, but it is not superficial. It is not egoistic, and it does not look down upon others. I really want to say that. It does not look down upon others. Some judgmental energy coming through in that reflection card. And again, watch your relationships too. Whoever's mirroring certain things back to you, be aware of that. What are they mirroring back to you and why are they mirroring that back to you? It's not to say take on other people's shit. It's just practice some self-awareness here. Okay. <clears throat> Any other messages or insights from my lions pertaining to this spread? Ooh. Oh, interesting. Whoa, perception beyond the veil of illusion. It's exactly what I was talking about. Take a look in the mirror, see beyond the distortion, right? Take accountability there, but perception and then look what came in right after that. You see that? It was like mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> it's like, whoa, that's why it jumped out at me. Zen garden, inner sanctuary. Yeah, ooh, Leo's. Um, yeah, again, really take stock of the people that you are interacting with right now and what they're mirroring back to you, okay? Um, are they mirroring back distortion or are they mirroring back qualities that are, um, I want to say, uh, what's the word for this? Hold on, let me, I want the right word for this. Admirable qualities. Are they mirroring back admirable qualities of yourself? It's almost like you need to you need to take a look at yourself. You need to take a look at yourself, even in the context of relationships, to get down to this like deeper place within yourself to see how to maintain your own sense of inner peace. But I really also want to say to like keep yourself in check, even um, to move past judgment, move past criticism. You know what? This is very similar actually to the other reading I did for you guys, but a lot of this stuff was coming up in part two, not part one. So I just got to say what I, I just got to call it what I need to call it. Um, there was some image stuff coming up in that reading and I am getting it here where it's like, you know, Leo's, you might care a little bit about the image that it, that you are exuding out in the world or how you're coming across in the world, how people see you, right? But when you start to care too much, you move into distortion, you move into judgment, you move into criticism, you move into superiority, right? Ego, spiritual ego. Some of you have a little bit of spiritual ego you got to keep in check, right? And it's interesting to me even noticing her eyes all squinty and then here they're wide open, right? Wide open and clear, seeing things very clearly, seeing herself very clearly. Um, inner sanctuary, this is about being good all by yourself, being good in your own container, in your own container of self and not being worried or concerned or thinking about how to project a certain presentation or image of yourself out into the world that other other people can admire you for or judge you for and even vice versa, right? And when it comes to other people and also how you can like, in the context of mirroring, so you can see beyond the illusion, be, see beyond the mask, beyond the ego, beyond the representation even of other people, people's representatives, if you will, see deep down of what's going on within that person, right? Is it distortion or are they really just being within themselves in their own container in a non-judgmental way of just being? Um, interesting. So yeah, definitely connects to the other reading that I did for you guys. Feels like that perception is like this midpoint, this transition from reflection to Zen garden. Some of you are taking on way too much from other people. Some of you guys are definitely taking on too much from other people, especially if like you start to, sorry, so many things just came through. Empath and solar plexus just came through. Some of you guys might have a very open solar and if you are not containing yourself, you could easily absorb shit from other people, their emotions, their own distortions, especially as it relates to self image, which is also rooted in the solar. Okay. Um, how much of your relationships 
is the other person versus you as far as the feelings that are there the energy exchange that goes on are you just absorbing other people and then acting out their shit while they're acting out their shit or are you actually being able to contain yourself in your own container that's also something that's coming through here as well it's a lot of stuff coming up for my lions right now oh but so okay there's a group of you here though that it is about some self-worth stuff okay where there is too much of an emphasis or concern or thinking about how to present a certain image instead of just being in your container, okay? Why is that? Why do you need to come off a certain way to certain people? That's a self-worth thing. That's an ego thing, okay? Moving on. Oh, I'm noticing the sun. She got a little sun in that tree. Also noticing the emphasis on the throat chakras in both of those cards as well. Again, are you being honest with how you're representing yourself out in the world? Overall apprehension, moving out into the world. <laughs> you gotta laugh, you gotta laugh how this stuff comes up. Doubt and fear, winter's end regeneration rebirth positive outcome okay so leo this is this is definitely a taking look at, at the self taking stock of both the self with apprehension that's kind of what i was feeling it's like having like a very sobering moment of looking at yourself and looking at how important it has been to show up in the world a specific way versus showing up in the world just as you are but at peace within your container right that's how you do it being at peace within your container containing your energy and just being instead of projecting your energy out right there's a difference when you project your energy out it's easy to absorb stuff within it's easy to get to, like caught up on the external what people think of you how you're coming across all that stuff but when you are within here and you feel safe to do so you feel good to do so you feel happy to do so you feel at peace to do so you feel solid you feel confident and you're just being you're not trying and you just are who you are right but again this is your overall energy so there is some fear coming up here that you're seeing about yourself as it relates to how you present yourself in the world self-worth self-image that sort of deal some of you is just coming down simply to how much you allow other people's energy to affect you and how much you project your energy out versus containing it okay but with Winter's End coming in after that, it tells me that you are going through some sort of shift. It's kind of like the death card and that there is uh, something new around the corner. Um, and I feel like the new is just moving into that energy. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me check the Capricorn. <laughs> please be done. Please let me download. Party, please. It's just driving me crazy. And we'll get back to you in a second, lines. I promise. Please, please, please. Fingers crossed. It's gonna, it's gonna work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Damn it. <sighs> anyway. Oh, let's get back to you. I used, oh, come here. I used these cards yesterday in your guys' reading or the day before whenever I recorded it. And I'm gonna use them again. This is the Midnight Magic. This is the new deck that I'm in love with. I'm, I don't sponsor them, I'm just sharing information. Again, all the decks I use are linked below and this is, should be the first one under the decks list. Um, the Energy Oracle cards are kind of jumping out though. Okay, Energy Oracle cards are jumping out. So we're just gonna go for it, these guys. <clears throat> hearing venus venus really loudly venus is in gemini now so i would see where venus is transiting your your charts or how it's affecting your charts if it's aligning to any personal planets of yours mars was in gemini for six months and now venus is there so there could be something that gets highlighted from that mars retrograde period just because venus is kind of coming through and like reactivating all of that Any messages or insights for my lions pertaining to this spread? Keep in mind, Leos, this could be for someone you know or someone in your field doesn't have to be for you. I just wanted to reiterate that because this is kind of a tough one. This is a tough one. 
It's like this is coming to terms with, with the self and maybe some things that are not so desirable. A real honest moment, a real hard look in the, oh Jesus, hard look in the mirror. Any messages or insights for my lions pertaining to this spread? Hostility is in reverse. It's like the Five of Swords. I'm glad that it's in reverse, though, because it's coming out of that. It's coming out of the Five of Swords. It's coming out of this place of being in like, in that distorted ego place, this distorted egoistic place, like needing to be on the defensive. Um, I'm actually hearing offensive, which to me is like projecting out, projecting your energy out, judging, criticizing, needing the feeling of needing to protect the self, protecting the image. Hiding your fear. And some of this might run really deep. You might not even be very consciously aware that that's what's going on. You know, I feel like some of you might even just feel like, I'm just confident, I'm just Leo, and I'm just doing my Leo thing. Are you, though? Eh. Or is there something deeper going on that's making you project yourself out so much to other people, right? It can be in the form of, like, talking a lot. It can be in the form of um, talking over people or judging people, criticizing people, spiritual ego, like that sort of deal. Um, mistaking arrogance for confidence. I'm not trying to judge anybody. It's just examples. Let's see here. Ooh. Man holding a coin in reverse, kind of like the King of Pentacles. And then Magician and the Mirror. This is literally the Magician card, the Alchemy card of transmutation and change. This is what, need, yeah, it's it's funny, Magician and the Mirror. Mirror. This is what you're seeing in the mirror. Man holding a coin in a verse, King of Pentacles in a verse. That is somebody who does care about image. That is somebody who cares about how they come across to people, how they come across in the world, how people see them, how people see their status, how people see, like, their sense of security. Are they reliable? Do they have a lot? Are they like a leader? Are they like a badass? Um, do they have like, what's their house situation like? What's their money situation like? This is, I, this is someone who really strongly cares about how people see them, how the world sees them. Mercury is retrograding through your 10th house. So it makes total sense that that is what is coming up for my Leo risings more so than anyone else. But my Leo suns and moons and north nodes would, could feel that too, okay? this is what you're seeing in the mirror and this is what you need to transmute this is also why it's coming next to the five of swords in reverse it's just it's a seeing a part of your distortion and taking a look in the mirror and transmuting it doing something about it okay it's almost like leo you're afraid that people won't see you like this like people won't see you as somebody who knows what they're doing or like people won't see you as somebody who is solid or confident or has a lot to offer. You're worried that people won't see that in you, that people won't see you as valuable or maybe even special. Because King of Pentacles, everybody goes to the King of Pentacles for stability, for support, for comfort, for advice. Because they, the King of Pentacles brings the 10, they manage the 10 of Pentacles. They hold the keys to understanding like how to uphold legacy and success. And you're worried that people won't see this in you. That's how it's coming across. Okay. I almost wanna say you don't need to be the one with the answers. You don't need to be the one to resolve the problems. You don't need to be the one. All you need to do is be you. And it, you don't need to be Neo. <laughs> We're all Neo. But you understand what I'm saying. You don't need to be Neo. No, maybe that should be the title. Find a section. Oh, wait, work. <laughs> Leo, not Neo. I like that. 
anyway, any other messages or insights from my lions pertaining to this spread? Interesting, appreciation coming out. This is kind of like the Nine of Pentacles. This is feeling solid and confident within the self. This is having a lot of gratitude for who you are, what your life consists of. This is the key. I wanna put this actually on perception. Like once you take a look in the mirror and you see this part of you and you're like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta do something about that. Um, gratitude, gratitude is the key to, to seeing through the veil, seeing through the illusion. Also, this is going to bring you a sense of more self-esteem, more self-worth, um, authentic self-worth, authentic self-esteem, authentic confidence. Any other messages or insights from my lions pertaining to this spread? It's hot in here. It's hot. I'd open the window, but there's been so much. Actually, I guess it's not that noisy now. Hold on. It's like getting to the end of day. Okay. what's lying underneath everything leo this totally pertains to what i already channeled for you so this bonus i think really just had to come out because the video just got a little mark 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 right um and i think this is also like more articulately uh expressed <laughs> uh than the first one because i also wasn't feeling as great but woman holding a heart in reverse with zen garden this is what you got to get down to the root of here this is what's behind man holding a coin in reverse that distortion, wanting to project that image deep down. This is this is like the Queen of Cups in reverse. You can also look like the Queen of Fire, but I'm really getting this feeling of like, I don't feel loved. I don't feel loved. I don't feel supported. Feeling a little bit like a broken heart. Um, feeling kind of alone in that emotionally too. And you might have been disassociated from this for a while or disconnected from this for a while or just like, it was just so deep or you've just been functioning from it for so long you didn't really know what was underlying here and why it's hard to be in your own container within yourself because deep down you don't feel emotionally okay to do that and so once you get in touch with that you can actually start to work on that right on the bottom angel of strength in reverse this is like the strength card which is your card leo energy Ooh, door to spirit in reverse yeah, healer of ages in reverse, caring connections in reverse, and then you got a man holding a heart. Ooh, with throat chakra underneath that. But with this being your overall energy, Leos, with angel of strength in reverse, door to spirit in reverse, healer of ages in reverse, caring connections in reverse, it's like, I gotta be honest, this feels like afraid to face the healing afraid to face the work of what has caused that in the first place. Some of you guys have been emotionally like not fully online, not fully present with that within yourself because you've been projecting an image for however long. Again, this is not for all my lines, whoever needs to hear this, because this, excuse me, like I said, came out in your last reading that I just did. So it's coming up again for a reason because it needs to be heard, right? Um, yeah, that's this is what I feel like it's coming down to. It's just feeling like with caring connections in a verse, like people don't care or you've walked around feeling unloved, feeling unsupported, feeling really alone. And with door to spirit in a verse, that, that also speaks to the like lack of connection. I'm also getting discouraged, discouraged discouraged kind of comes back to this apprehension card kind of that fear you just haven't been wanting to look at this leo that's what it's coming down to you haven't been wanting to look at this you haven't been wanting to go to the deep dark depths of it but you're looking in the mirror and you don't have a choice i mean there's always a choice 
you don't have a choice as far as looking at it. You have a choice on how you want to deal with it or can deal with it. And what's interesting that underneath caring connections in a verse, we do have a man holding a heart upright. This is what you want. You want people, a person, tribe, whatever, to authentically show up for you emotionally. That's what you want. You want family. Who doesn't want family? Who doesn't want family? Who doesn't want like true loved ones or friends that can really show up and give and give emotionally or support or like show their heart, be vulnerable with you? Who doesn't want that? You want that. That's what you want. And with the Earth Shock Reverse, you're not being honest about that because that would mean you'd have to be honest about this. That a part of you is almost like not open to it because you've been hurt. And because you haven't been open to it, you've had this bit of disconnection, you've been functioning from this place of, I will project this image. I will project, it's like, it's affected your sense of self-worth. It's affected your sense of value. If I can show you that I am worthy in a practical way, then maybe you'll show up for me emotionally. It has this feeling, God, I hate to say this, it's making me kind of sad. It has this taste, this flavor of like, just who I am emotionally isn't enough for people to just want to show up. So let me try to do this practically. Let me show you how much value I have practically, factually, tangibly. And then maybe you'll show up and give me the support I really need. Hi, buddy. Some of you, this is someone in your life that's going through this and maybe you, were, you triggered this process because something clearly triggered this process. Like you don't just get a look in the mirror randomly. It happens. It's cat. You're, cat <laughs> you're catalyzed into it, right? And it could be that someone in particular brought this to your attention. That's what came through the last time. Um, but let's go ahead and pull more cards. We are 30 minutes in, so I'm going to jump to part two. Buddy. Buddy. I got it still work. I know. I know, but I asked to work. Can you move off the board, please? <laughs> so I'm going to go in again to part two. And if you are leaving us here, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you got a lot out of it. But take that look in the mirror, Leo. It'll be worth it. Okay? All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'll see you later.